Nothing sets the holiday scene like a lighted Christmas tree. But why do we have a decorated tree in our house to begin with? Let's find out as we delve into the five astounding things you probably didn't know about the Christmas tree. Hey guys, stick around to the end of the video. I've got a special bonus feature that you won't want to miss. Trust me. Number one. Christmas trees started out as pagans? What? Thousands of years before Christ was ever born, Germanic pagans were decorating trees during what we now know as the Christmas season. But why? Well, it all has to do with the winter solstice. The evergreens were a symbol of endurance as they were the only trees that didn't lose their foliage in the winter months. So by celebrating with evergreen trees, it was a testimony of endurance and a sign of hope for warmer and more prosperous times in the coming spring and summer months. Number two. Christmas trees almost deforested Germany? The Germans already had a pagan heritage of celebrating the winter solstice with evergreens. After they were converted to Catholicism, many still wanted to celebrate their pagan practices. Fearing a revolt on their hands, the Catholic Church basically Christianized the evergreen trees. It didn't take long before forests were depleted of trees due to the Christmas tree tradition. So this caused new customs to be adopted. Some only brought in a limb or two from a tree. Even then, th that was not enough, and so other options were considered. One was to take boards, make them into the shape of a triangle, paint them green, and use them as a Christmas tree. We see this today with the wooden pallet Christmas trees that people make. Another option was to take colored goose feathers and wrap them around sticks. When wound backwards, the veins of these trimmed and stripped feathers looked somewhat like evergreen needles. In many places, heritage crafters still make goose feather Christmas trees. Number three. The Protestants had a problem with the Christmas tree? As we discussed earlier, Christmas trees started out as winter solstice trees celebrated by the pagans. Much of America refused to celebrate Christmas because Yule, Christmas trees, mistletoe, and even Santa all have pagan roots. Thanksgiving was actually made a national holiday before Christmas was ever on the table for consideration. Alabama was the first state to recognize Christmas as a holiday in 1836. It wasn't until 1870 that America recognized Christmas as a national holiday, seven years after President Lincoln declared Thanksgiving a national holiday. It was only when Queen Victoria, who was of German heritage, and Prince Albert made headlines in 1848 showing the royal family around a Christmas tree did it become fashionable for Protestants to celebrate Christmas and display a tree in their homes. I hope you're enjoying this video so far. If you are, give it a thumbs up. We really do appreciate that. It helps the channel. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you can be alerted to future content. Now on to the countdown. Number four. What do you tell me now? Artificial trees are actually first on the scene? The first Christmas trees publicly sold and celebrated in America were actually um, sold by the German churches in the 1700s. Um, they were the triangular wooden trees that we talked about earlier because most of America, at least the Protestant uh, British Americans, did not celebrate Christmas. It was not until around 1840s that Americans actually started using real trees and decorating and celebrating Christmas. A decade later, the first commercial Christmas tree started up. Even today, despite the fact that it's estimated two live Christmas trees are being commercially grown in America for every citizen, 
usage of artificial trees still outpaces that of real trees. Number five. What do toilet brushes and Christmas trees have to do with each other? The first commercially produced artificial Christmas trees as we know them today started with the Addis Brush Company back in the 1930s. These Christmas trees were essentially made with the same equipment materials that Addis used to make the toilet brushes. The only difference was they used um, green dye to color the pig hair bristles. During World War II, a number of Addis Christmas trees were sent overseas to England after the bombing. This only increased their brand name and reputation along the globe. In 1950, Addis received a patent for all aluminum Christmas trees. Because of risk of shock from electrical lights, a rotating color wheel showed colored lights on the tree. It became hugely popular with pink, blue, and silver trees being seen as modern marvels. Moreover, these trees were less flammable and safer than the older model uh, pig hair brush trees. Bonus! How did peanuts hurt Christmas tree sales? Earlier we had discussed how the Addis Brush Company got a patent for the aluminum Christmas tree in 1950. By 1964 there were several companies making aluminum Christmas trees with aluminum specialties being one of the top ones. In 1964 they sold over 150,000 trees alone and to put that in perspective they were selling it for roughly a week's pay. However, in 1965, a low-budget cartoon which almost never aired due to deadline issues made national television. That night, unprecedented 15 million viewers watched A Charlie Brown Christmas. The children seemed to identify with the characters as Charlie Brown expressed angst over the true meaning of Christmas while Lucy expressed lamentations over corporations controlling everything. What was claimed to be only a joke, poised to the Christmas tree, or the aluminum Christmas tree, as a physical representation of what was wrong in America and Christmas. Children vocally expressed their disdain for the aluminum Christmas trees to the point that many manufacturers soon went out of business. In one single night, Charlie Brown killed an entire industry. Ironically, not the first person that era, nor any of the cartoon characters in that show ever mentioned how Christmas only had about a hundred year history of being celebrated in America. Maybe if someone had given some contrarian commentary, livelihoods could have been saved. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a like. That really helps us out. If you haven't already, and why haven't you if you're watching to the end of this video, go ahead and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can be alerted to future content, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.